It has been said that if you want to change your harvest, you must plant and cultivate in a different field. There are many fields that determine success. Today, we take an in-depth look at how your field determines your yield. Let's call this meeting to order. Eli's dad here, and today we will take a literal look at how your field determines your yield. Eli, when you look up the word field in the dictionary, you find that there are multiple meanings assigned to those five letters. Let's examine all the dictionary definitions of the word field so that we may maximize our yield as it relates to you in the process of success. Our first definition of field is an area of open land, especially one planted with crops or pasture, typically bounded by hedges or fences. Now this, of course, refers to your mindset. Your mind is the open land. Your thoughts and dreams are the seeds that you plant. The boundaries, the hedges and fences, are your self-imposed limitations. Your harvest is dependent upon good seeds and your ability to tear down hedges and fences with your creativity, resourcefulness, and perseverance. The second definition of field is a particular branch of study or sphere of activity or interest. The key word is particular. Singleness of purpose is essential. Don't plant carrots, onions, wheat, and oranges in the same field. Major in your major. As Brendan Burchard tells us, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. So have a laser focus. The third definition of field, all the participants in a contest or sport. Now typically, there are other individuals or teams in pursuit of goals that are similar to yours. Learn from their experiences and accomplishments. Model their success to expedite your progress. Ideally, connect with a mentor. Ravenously consume all sources of information in your field through books, media, seminars, and relationships. Our fourth definition of, fi of field comes from physics. The region in which a particular condition prevails, especially one in which a force or influence is effective regardless of the presence or absence of a material medium. Remember, your thoughts are things. Understand that a laser focus activates your subconscious mind to aid and assist you through both logical and illogical means. Your job is to focus on the desired outcome. Allow your subconscious to inspire you with the how-to you're going to get there. When you plant the seed, your conscious visualization of the outcome is the fertilizer. Subconscious sunlight originates from a source that is greater than we are. Trust nature's way and don't try to explain it. It just is. Cause and effect. Faith. The fifth definition is a verb. When play as a fielder, catch or stop the ball. Now continuously observe how the ball is bouncing by seizing the data. Determine through careful observation how to advance the ball. Now sometimes a delicate touch is needed to accomplish the objective. There are times when the ball should be lofted to lead the receiver and allow him to catch up to it. And other times, you must rifle the ball to ensure a successful completion. You must continuously have your finger on the pulse to determine the correct approach and the appropriate touch. Our sixth definition of field is send out a team or individual to play in a game. Enlist the aid of like-minded individuals to help you achieve your goals. It is exponentially more difficult to discourage a team of like-minded individuals than a single person. Enthusiasm is contagious. Match the strengths of each team member with their assignments. Have your field goal kicker 
kick, and your quarterback, pass. Team play is paramount. Achieving the desired outcome, your vision should act as your constitution and not the so-called boss. Remember that methods become flexible when you change your paradigm, but principles are not flexible. The seventh definition of field is to deal with a difficult question, telephone call, or something like that. Now be proactive and not reactive to challenging scenarios and issues. Good leaders anticipate via data. Great leaders anticipate via data and gut feelings. Additionally, there will be roadblocks, potholes, and failures. Now treat these setbacks as your teacher and not as your undertaker. Creatively seek a new starting line, changing your paradigm, and finish the race. You'll find that the road to success has many starting lines. GPS yourself to success. Keep those GPS batteries charged up. Keep a pint of B positive blood inspiring material on hand in the event a transfusion is needed. The eighth definition is an adjective of carried out, of, we're talking about field, carried out or working in the natural environment rather than in a laboratory or office. Now as a leader, be a river, not a reservoir. Get out into the field, be the head cheerleader and feel the pulse of your operation continuously. This activates your subconscious mind to alert you to potential difficulties. Similarly, your subconscious will direct you to put your foot on the gas and accelerate when appropriate as well. The successful merger of your conscious and subconscious minds is a beautifully productive thing. Now when you examine all the different meanings and nuances of the word field, take note of all the success clues that reside therein and apply them with action. Now the next time that we reassemble, Mick Jagger will teach us how to get satisfaction. If you don't want to miss this lesson from Mr. Rolling Stones, make sure that you have clicked on both the subscribe icon and the bell. And whether you have sympathy for the devil or not, please share Project Eli with your friends. Remember, as always, to check out the description box for more goodies. In our thought for the day, comes from Mick Jagger's cookbook. He tells us that the secret to making the perfect pancake is the same as the ingredients needed to successfully hit a baseball. Quite simply, it's the batter. And because we never end a meeting on a philosophical note, let's get out there and Charge! I'm Eli's dad.